Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today's um, a little bit of a different video. I think I've only filmed this once on my video, uh, video channel. This is my fake tan routine I'm just, of what I do when it comes to my fake tan routine. So I'm going to explain a little bit of it now and then I'm going to film a couple of clips as well. So the first things first, um, I need to show you my favourite tan, don't I? So the first things first, this is the tan that I use and actually recommend and it's so cheap. This is the uh, St. Moritz fake tan and I use the medium. Sometimes I use the dark, I think it's the one hour fast tan, but it is just way too dark and getting that off is a bitch, it's so hard to get off. So this is the one I currently have on now, but it has, it tends to cling to the dry patches of my body, which is annoying, because the places you want it to cling to, it doesn't. I have shrug struggle um, keeping it on my chest area, and when I do, I get quite dry, so... This is a tan that I recommend, and when applying my tan, I just use mitts like these from Savers or Superdrug, anything like that. And then, when it comes to my face, I know a lot of people don't like putting it on their face. Sometimes I don't, if I'm really spotty, if I'm not, I'll just put it on. But this is a Real Techniques Dense Foundation Brush. This is clean, it's just got a bit of tan on it. But this is the one that I will use to apply on my face. I just find using a brush is so much better than obviously using the mitt. Um, so the first thing is first, I will jump into the bath. I will obviously run a really nice hot relaxing bath and I will jump into that bath and I will just let my body soak for a little bit and just let's just wind down for the day. That's what I do as well, just relax in my bath. I love a bath. I just I bath every day and I love it and sometimes twice a day I'm just such a bath person and I love to stay clean so I will get into the tub I will let my body soak a little bit let my skin soften up a bit let my pores open and then I'll just do my normal shaving routine my washing everything when it comes to fake tanning I really 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 do like to shave everywhere on my body I shave all up my arms all the way up to my legs you know what areas girls the armpit everything I shave I even shave my face so I know a lot of people use them special razors but I just go in with a men's shaver and just shave it and people are like oh it's gonna grow back so thick and hairy and manly no it doesn't I've been doing it for years and my hair is still like so fluffy and baby hair like it's always been but my makeup just goes on beautiful, excuse the appearance at the minute, just goes on beautiful when I shave my face. That's something I've always done and it's worked perfectly fine for me. So hopefully any of these tips in this video will help you guys. Um, so I will shave all of my body, but when shaving, I use conditioner. I have done this for years. It's been on YouTube for years. Everyone's done it and I absolutely love the way that this works and I've recommended it to a lot of people so um, I will obviously wash all myself with soap and then when it comes to shaving my legs and arms I will apply the conditioner to that area and just shave away and it's a good moisture it's like a, mo a deep moisture for your skin a bit like if you'd use a, a moisturizing hair mask so you're using it on your skin and um, the razor glide so there's no cutting there's no tugging of the skin it's just so much better than soap or shower gel or shaving foam so i do use conditioner only on my legs and arms i will not put conditioner on my face or other parts um so i recommend doing that and then sometimes if i've really got stubborn fake tan that won't come off and i've got dry skin or anything like that i would then take a sponge and i will literally just Get the sponge like this and just do it all over my body it just it's a deep exfoliating like you exfoliate your face with a scrub it's good to take your soap your shower gel whatever you're using on sort of a sponge and just go all over the body under the net every single wear to just smoothen everything any dead, uh, dead skin cells off anything like that so i will do that in the bath um i'll do that after i shave and then i will rinse all my body, get out, I will dry myself. I tend to, let me know if anyone else does this in the comments, um, but when I get out of the bath, I will dry myself pretty well with a towel and then I'll come into the bedroom and I'll turn the hairdryer on and I will literally hairdryer 
my whole body dry with a hairdryer. Does anyone else do that? I've done it for forever and it's nice to warm yourself back up especially when you've just got out of a nice warm bath and it's like really cold <laughs> so I do that and then I will give my skin a good hour sometimes longer if I can before I tan I just find guys if you do tan straight after a bath it, your pores will be open that you'll have little dots everywhere and it won't like apply as smoothly and as flawless and as nice so I do recommend sort of giving it a couple of hours out of the bath if you can half an hour is all right but longer the better um but i do not apply moisturizer probably should but i don't this is me being honest i do not apply moisturizer to my elbows to my feet my knees or my hands i don't i don't at all i just i just don't because i find if i do that the tan doesn't get on that area properly at all and then i have white patches um so i don't do that so I will just go in with a couple of pumps onto here and I will just apply that all over my body. I will showing you what I do. But I will do in the winter time, does anyone do this? I only do my face, my neck, my arms, my chest and like just below my boobs. But all the way down from there, I won't fake tan because I don't have it out and there's absolutely no point. In the summer, I obviously will. In the winter, don't get anything out, so there's no point. But I only do the top half. Um, and... That's just something I do. I don't know if everyone else does that. It's just no point tanning the whole body if I'm not getting it out. Do you know what I mean? So I will apply my tan. And when it when it comes to my hands, a lot of people ask. I do not use a brush. I use a mitt. And I want to show you. I will show you this in the video. But I'll put a couple of pumps of my fake tan on my mitt. So this is the hand. And I will put the fake tan on there. And when it comes to my hands, I will scrunch my hands up like this. And I'll do all my knuckles, all my knuckles. So, because obviously you get white patches and I don't have any of them. So I'll do all this against the pad, the mitt, and I will just do all this and I bend my thumb, get in all the creases and then get into the gaps like this. Hopefully you can see in the hands and then I'll do this with it, get all my hands like that. And then I'll do it all around here like so. Then I'll close my hand again and I really will work my knuckles onto the mitt to get all in the gaps and the lines and the wrinkles of the fingers because if I don't do that then I will get patches and I don't have any white lines luckily but I find if you do that against the mitt you fill in all these lines that we have on our hands and these lines I've done it like that for a long time and then obviously when it comes to my face I will squeeze some of my tan onto here and I will dip my brush in and I will just apply fake tan all over I do a couple of layers then I will take my mitt after I've done it with my brush onto my face. I just drop the mitt. I'll pop my hand into the mitt and then I will just dab it all over just to make sure I've blended it all out. A bit like if you were applying foundation with a brush and then you went over with a beauty blender. Um, and then I will give myself a hairdryer after I've done all of my tan and then I will go to bed. Simply I will chuck on something loose like a 90, a 90 and a pair of boxers and sleep in that because it's nice and comfy and it's loose and then I'll get up in the morning and I'll have a quick little bath so I'll run a little bath and I'll get in there and just rinse everything off have a little shave under my armpits because I'll shave my armpits every single day a little wash get out tap myself dry really really gently and um, then get out dry myself with a hairdryer thoroughly and then I will take my favorite you've seen it before Aveeno moisturizer currently using the vanilla and oat almond scent which is really nice and i will just moisturize on my whole body to keep the fake tan looking really fresh and beautiful and flawless and it just looks like you've done it i find if you moisturize it after every time you bathed it just keeps your tan looking so beautiful and you don't want dry skin there's nothing worse than dry skin so and then i will give it a couple of days and I would just have, obviously have my bath moisturiser like normal. And then I will fake tan again. So I don't wait for my tan to come off completely. I will like reapply. Like I tanned myself a couple of days ago and I'm doing it again today. Because I go pale. I go on my arms. Like I need to build up that, that layer of tan again. And then people do say to me, you tan quite a lot and don't let it all come off before you reapply. Is it hard to get it off? when you really want to get it off it actually isn't i tend to find if you are using a hard uh, brush like a sponge that will get it off really easy a bit of conditioner on the sponge and that will remove off really really well found that really helpful 
and shaving obviously that helps to remove tan as well on your body and i tan at least three times a week and these are the steps that i do but very important to remember to do that with your hands like i said and to stay on top of moisturizing your whole body obviously i don't tan the lower half but i will still moisturize with that so i'm just going to get into the bath and do them steps <laughs> for watching i hope you all enjoyed that video if you did enjoy it please make sure you smash a thumbs up uh subscribe to my channel please help me get to 2000 followers before the end of the month because it means so much and comment down below share you, you know tell me what fake tan you use girls and what fake tan you recommend and me as well help us all down in the comments let's get chatting talking help each other out that's what we like to do on this channel it's about helping people hope you all enjoyed the video and i will see you all soon in a new one for your life